Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. This is Paula Vargas and today I'm going to be showing you how I fix my eyebrows. Um, a lot of you guys know that I don't have very thick eyebrows so I kind of have to play with them to make it look decent and they still look crazy a lot of the time. If you want to see how I fix my eyebrows, please keep watching. So I'm going to show you my favorite products and what tools I use to get my brows the way I want them most of the time. And my favorite eyebrow product um, is this one by Kat Von D. I'm going to let you guys look something like that. And this is the 24 hour super brow pomade. I'm in the shade dark brown. This product will give you a lot of coverage if it makes sense so a little bit goes a long way I don't do my brows every single day so if you are a regular user you'll probably go through this way quicker than me my favorite brush to use is this one by Anastasia this is the 7b and I like it because it is a double-ended brush so you have your little spoolie down here and then your angle brush here which it makes it very very easy to design your eyebrows and what I like the most is how thin the brush is. My favorite tweezers are also by Anastasia, something like this. I got mine years ago, maybe two years ago. Probably be the most expensive tweezers you will ever, ever purchase in your life. I think they're now $28, if I'm not mistaken, could be 25, but they are so good. I don't go anywhere without them, just so you know. I use something like this, little, scissors and I just use them to kind of cut the extra long hair to make my eyebrows pop a little bit more we're going to be using my concealer and you can use any concealer any highlight whatever you want also in days that I don't feel like going through the whole process I just kind of use my Anastasia pencil I am in the shade dark brown anyway for those who don't know what this pencil looks like it looks something like this it's got a spoolie on this side as well and then you get your product over here so you can see and it's pretty thin so you can just kind of fill in the areas okay now that I have showed you the products that I use let's go ahead and get started this is what they look like every single day when I'm not wearing any makeup at all as you can see right now I'm not wearing makeup so the first thing I do is I always brush them in the direction that I want them to go pretty much. I also brush up a little bit when I brush up those extra extra long hairs that stick out. That's when I use this to kind of run it kind of run it on top and just cut the extra hairs. And I'm also going to brush them down especially this area right here. I'm gonna cut this just a little bit there it's a little extra long and then I'm gonna brush everything back okay, so what I'm going to do next I'm going to, to pick the extra hairs that I don't want to have anything below this area right here I'm going to pluck out and that's because I'm letting the other area grow I never ever 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 hairs out of the tail I call it the tail ever because then you're gonna look like you have no eyebrows you guys need to be really careful with these tweezers because they are very very sharp like they will cut you also if I see a lot of um, growth above my eyebrow I do remove a little bit of that hair I'm not a pro at doing eyebrows I think that is one of the hardest things for me. Our eyebrows should start like right here. It starts there and it should finish something like this right there. And the arch should be somewhere over here like going through the middle of your eye right there. And I'm kind of creating my arch already so you can see it. I don't know if you can tell. That's where I kind of want the highest point of my brow to be. So to me that's like a good end right there 
it depends on my eye makeup but I think to me that right there is a pretty good length. I'm going to fill in a little bit of the old places that I have with just kind of running the brush through and a more additional product and I kind of do mine weird kind of finish the tail first and then work my way in just because it gives me a guide on how high I want my arch. Uh, by no means this is the correct way to do it. You can do it your way, this is just the way I do it and the way that it works for me. Okay, so as you can see, I kind of gave my eyebrow a shape. Remember, I don't, I didn't have a brow. Now I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in. And I know sometimes this area right here for me can look kind of square or very traced. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of blur it out a little bit with the brush and work it in, work it out, and all that stuff. It is a process to get some eyebrows over here. So now I'm going to use the other side of the brush to kind of distribute the product all over the eyebrow. And you know, you may think that this doesn't work, but it really does. Like it kind of blurs out harsh lines and it distributes the product all over the eyebrow. Okay, so you can see there's a big difference between this eyebrow and this eyebrow. Okay, and something that I used to not do was clean up my eyebrows with concealer just because the whole sign kind of like doesn't make any difference no big mistakes it does make a huge difference when you are grooming your eyebrows so I find a brush like this very handy it is very small and you can be very precise with it this is the elf small smudge brush use this brush to spread out a little bit of that concealer that I'm going to be applying Okay guys, so this is what my eyebrows kind of look like once I clean it. And I know that you will see a lot of little hair sticking out, but that's because I have super long of hair. It's pretty much the kind of shape that I want from my, my eyebrows once they grow. They don't get this thick, but this is what I would like for them to be. So if any hair that is above the shape that I want, I just plug them out just because they don't look very pretty if it makes sense and especially down here it makes it look like the eyebrows are messed up but it's really not it's just hair that is sticking up i do apply a brow gel after i'm done with my eyebrows this is what my brow gel looks like it is from anastasia some people do it before but I do it afterwards. But you can use any brow gel, any brow wax to make your eyebrows stay in place. Because so much product comes out of this little container, I just go like this a few times to kind of wipe off the extra product. One more time. To kind of give them a final shape. Okay, and that's it. That's kind of normally just stuff here and continue doing the rest of my makeup. Or sometimes I'll just leave my eyebrows at the end because I don't want to deal with the whole struggle doing all of this. But I'm going to finish this eyebrow here and I'll be right back with you so you guys can see what the brows look like once they are done. So this is what my eyebrows look like when I already have both of them done and have a full makeup face. Um, 
This one is a little crazy because I have so much long and short hair. Some is growing, some is too long and very uneven but I have to let it grow that way I can have a shape because I don't wear a full face of makeup every single day then it is important for me to have some type of eyebrow going on but anyway this is what they look like um, it is a long process it takes about 30 to 40 minutes sometimes depends what I'm doing <laughs> to get them to look somewhat decent so you want to see how I got this makeup look then I'm gonna link the video on the note cards thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye